Gus Bradley trying to turn around the mojo down in Jacksonville in his second year. Remember, they won four of the last eight games a season ago, and they came out like gangbusters. Chad Henney to Allen Hearns, undrafted out of the U. There's my new number 88, my 88 club right there. He's from the U. That's what he was talking about. Yes, Allen Hearns. Oh, you stepped out. You moved he was ahead of game. Yeah, 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 that's my man now. I was wondering what he was talking about. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring it home. What about Mick Foles? 27 touchdowns, two picks all of last year. He was a turnover machine on Sunday. He was a rash. He got to get rid of that ball. Walking down the aisle at the grocery store, taking his turn. <laughs> his team was down 17 zip. He's looking for Brent Selig. However, it's Allen's ball. He's Bad balling. Bad Gus Bradley, you're doing a good job. They came up with a defensive game plan right there. Now. That was you know, Foles incident. got a little good nicked job. up, and so Mark Four Sanchez half. starting to warm up. However, Four Jim half. Kelly didn't pull didn't the trigger. Stop. Oh, man. But Darren Sproles did. 49 yards on this little sprint. Oh, there he is. What is that, y'all? There goes that man. In 100 yes. steps. Longest TD run of his career. I told you guys they could share the backfield. There's enough carries for the both of them. Next the Eagles possession falls to Zach Ertz, the second year oh. man out of Stanford. Yep, yep. And that way, man, he makes some plays now. And he will, he will be, he'll start hitting the scene real big time right there. Ertz will. Now tied at 17 in the fourth Eagles ball. And anybody say blown coverage? Yep. Jeremy Macklin, you had called for a fair catch on They had trips to the right, and they just sent them out, and someone was open. Someone's going to be open on this office. You just got to be able to find it. Well, there Chris Krasinski is the guy we've got Watch centered on this He's going to jump that dig. Wow. Jumped it right there. Hold on, wait. That's, that's jumping around. Right. That's what's <laughs> when, jumping around. When they, get you, when they get you to come up 10 yards, man. And hit the guy. <laughs> Let's take you to Indianapolis, get you the highlights. Nick Foles, yeah, Philadelphia, Mike, looking for that 2-0 start. After that uh, tough, tough first half the week before, Andrew Luck 10-0 entering the game, coming off a loss in his three-year NFL career. They'd get a lot of help tonight from the running backs. First quarter, Colts ball, they're down 3 to nothing. Third down and short play, it's Ahmad Bradshaw taking the give, bounces to the outside guys. He looked so dynamic early in this game, didn't he? The whole running game did. I mean, him and uh, Richardson together, uh, they really controlled the line of scrimmage. A lot of inside runs right at the Eagles. Who, Eagles have been very good against the run in preseason, that first game against Jacksonville, but they took it to him tonight. Fourth and goal from the one, Chuck Pagano likes to go for it. And why not with Andrew Luck as your quarterback throwing right, that nice little fade pass to Bradshaw. Colts would take the 7-3 to three lead. Yeah, that wouldn't be the last time we saw that play tonight. <laughs> it worked for him a couple times. Yeah, if it works, go to it again. Fast forward, second quarter, Colts up 10-6 to six on a first and 10 play from the 42. It's Richardson again, breaking multiple tackles, going 15 yards down to the Philly 27. Three plays later, it's first and 10. Luck throwing right again for Andrew, for Ahmad Bradshaw. That was a heck of a catch. Off the shoelaces here. I mean, that, there's, that ball just barely touched the surface. Three plays later, this is second and goal play. Luck rolling right, finding Jack Doyle. Extending for the touchdown, a flag on the play. Defensive holding would be declined, so Indianapolis would take a 17-6 lead. Eric Walden. Guy coming in trying to replace Robert Mathis, and he guys had a huge night with impacts multiple times during the game. Yeah, you got the right tackle. You know, don't have Lane Johnson's on suspension. He was able to get a lot of pressure on Nick Foles in this contest. Andrew Luck getting the start at right tackle tonight. Struggled at times. His first start ever in the NFL. Walden having a huge impact for that defense. And so Mathis, that enormous loss for Indianapolis is defensive side of the football. Eagles ball down 17 to 6. Foles dropping back, throwing wow. deep down the right side for Jeremy Macklin as an incredible an effort on a defensive interception play that you'll see Greg Toller with the diving catch. Yeah, being able to high point the ball, being able to locate the ball is difficult enough to high point it, get your hands on it, and then to be able to finish with the interception. He looked like the receiver going after the ball right there. Danny, you talked about how good Chip Kelly has been going into the halftime locker room and making the adjustments. Their offense just looked better in that second half. Yeah, they, they were able to find some scenes both in the run game and the pass game. Baldy, especially look right down here with the tight end. That's a big matchup. For I, I think it's uh, right now Nick Foles' favorite target is Zach Ertz, especially right down that seam. Very next play, this is a first and ten. Foles would throw deep left side for Riley Cooper, but his pass falls incomplete. Flag on the play. Vontae Davis called for pass interference. Eagles move up to the one-yard line. Second and goal, it's McCoy in. And Philadelphia is showing life at that point, down 20 to 13. Ensuing Indianapolis drive on a first and 10. It's Richardson. Fletcher Cox just punches that ball out right there. And 
uh, they, the Eagles get the ball right back in good field position. You can see, like, the, uh, the energy, the excitement right here. It's just inexcusable by Trent Richardson to get that ball punched out. Uh, going right inside like that. Yeah, and that wasn't a real uh, physical swipe right there. You no. got to have that ball covered up when you're between the tackles. Got no better. D'Amico Ryan's would fall on it, recover. Ensuing Philly drive. This is third and 15 play. Look at McCoy taking the handoff, cutting left, going 21 yards down to the 10. He looked awfully fresh in the fourth quarter. Two plays later, the second and goal. Darren Sproles, what a night he would have, bouncing to the outside, into the end zone for the touchdown, and we are. That's all how you tied finish a run. It's <laughs> just going right through the gauntlet. Yeah, if you're, if you're in the secondary and you see Darren Sproles and you're in space one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to get you to settle your feet as you did right here, and you lose. You have no chance one-on-one -on -one with Darren Sproles in space. He's got a lot of power. He might be short, but he's got a great deal of power. He still can break a lot of tackles. Fourth quarter now, Indianapolis trying to answer. They drive the ball down. This is second and six from seven. Luck finding Bradshaw again. Daniel, there's that play. You said we see that play again, Daniel. Yeah, just stick with it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. 27 to 20, you thought maybe Indianapolis has seized control back in the game. Ensuing Philly drive, this is third and short. McCoy takes the handoff, and again, there he is. Eric Walden stuffs him for the three-yard loss. Eagles would be forced to punt. Next drive for the Colts. That was a huge play. Malcolm Jenkins stepping into the passing lane, and that was the defensive play that the Eagles needed. Yeah, if you're an Eagle fan, T.Y. Hilton fell down. If you're a Colts fan, T.Y. Like, Hilton got pulled down. All the one. penalties that these fans have been seeing all preseason the first two weeks, like, why didn't they call that one? So Nick Foles would get him going to Sproles again, breaking free. 51 yards down the right sideline, all the way down to the six. He picked seven up a catches, convoy. Seven catches, 152 yards for Darren Sproles wow. in this game. Andrew Luck kind of helplessly pacing the sideline. Very next play, first and goal. Foles dropping back. Finds Macklin in the end zone, and we are tied at 27. So here would come Andrew Luck in that offense, ensuing Colts possession, third and five. Luck looking for Reggie Wayne, but his pass falls incomplete. Eagles would take over after the punt. He put the ball back in Nick Foles' hands. First and 10 from the 40. Zach Ertz, the that chemistry. Guy. And that Nick Foles, Nick Foles' about. accuracy was not pinpoint today, but he had some guys running in the clear in the second half. And when in doubt, let's check it down to this guy. Well, just double up the plays. It worked before in the series before, led to a touchdown, and came right back to it. There's Cody Parker warming up for the kick after the 17-yard run. Chuck Pagano would call a timeout to try to ice him. Didn't work. 36-yard field goal, and the Philadelphia Eagles go to Indianapolis to defeat Andrew Luck and the Colts. 30 to 27, so the first time in Andrew Luck's three-year career that he loses back-to-back -back regular season games, and this is a, we can't say how big a win this is for the Eagles. Eagles trying to go 3-0 for the first time since their last Super Bowl season a decade ago, Mike taking Pereira's on Washington, and it's new starter Kirk Mike Cousins, and oh yeah, look who's back in Philly. Well, I'm seeing uh, huh? Sean Jackson, right in the thick of the sauce in this one. Jackson. In the uh, no, first quarter, yeah. makes the catch. Watch the late hit by 27, Malcolm Jenkins. Jackson reacts, and only an eagle, Nate Allen, would get flagged on that. He should have. He's a late hit. Remember, Jackson playing with a bum shoulder. They would later score on that drive, and then the ensuing kickoff prime. One of two reasons, baby, is the big player boo boo. One thing about that vice like a hammer. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. My bad. You got to be able to make someone miss, and he did just that. Great Polk, 102 yards, first since Quentin Dempsey to return a kick for a touchdown for Philly in 08. LaShawn McCoy takes a big shot from David Emerson. He gave that one. So they took his helmet away, right? And it's like a game of hide and go seek. I'll take the helmet, and you find it. He tried to get back in the game. That's a dog right there, man. Well, they had to check him out. They did, passed all the tests, and we saw him later in the game. Second quarter, Nick Foles to Jordan Matthews, one of the guys they got to replace, Jackson. One of the young guys that I talked about at the beginning of this season, he came in, made some good plays. All season, career highs today, eight receptions, 59 yards, and two TD. Eagles up 21-20 at the break. Third quarter, Cousins to Deshaun Jackson. This is when it got really juicy. Breaks a tackle say, and then. Who said Cousins can't throw the deep ball? Welcome home. Was it? Was this? You know how satisfying that is to go back and beat your old team, beat for six 
Five catches, 117 yards, and that score, we're tied at 27. Because you know everybody didn't want him to go. Right. So in Philly, everybody was not booing him. All right, this is where it's fun, madly out of control. First, Nick Foles. How you doing from Chris Baker? Banged up left shoulder, Mark Sanchez. What? Yeah, he's warming up, but Foles is like, I'm good. I'm staying in the game. Oh, he know better did. than to come out there. That's how he got his job. He looked good in the preseason. Tie game in the fourth. Foles picked off by Bashad Breeland. Starts to return it, and they notice that Foles on the field. And then we notice there's a big old fight in Philly. This don't make sense. Take another look at it. Well, Chris Baker lit up Foles. Yeah, he was he was in the play. Yeah, no, no, you can't do that no more. Like, and then Jason the Peters yeah. trying to light up. He has an equipment. Baker. I'm just I'm just stop. So you can't. So he could go why, make why the tackle. Why are you tackle? questioning these I'm just asking man. you. So he could go make the tackle, but you can't hit him. So just both guys, you. by the way, get kicked out. And of course, every turnover is reviewed. Uh, it was just an incomplete pass. Idiot. Breland didn't even catch it. So all that for naught. I need to be wondering what he was hanging up on the ground for. Well, full state in the game, and here on third and eight, it's Jeremy Macklin. They call it incomplete, but Chip Kelly says, I think he well, caught it. Watch this grab, man. Watch this grab. You're wonderful, Jeremy Macklin. I mean, just knee hits that oh, ground right beautiful. before. One knee is equals two feet. Yep, so the call is overturned after the Kelly one challenge. Knee two and then later on, my one knee equal one knee. This catch by Macklin's a little easier. Foles finished 27 of 41 for 325 and three scores, and the Eagles up a touchdown. Man, he's nice shot. Throws, Nick Foles did. That's why I wish it equaled one knee. And D Jax is like, uh, yeah. They've replaced me just fine, thanks. Later on, Cousins looking for Niles Paul. It's Malcolm Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins. That's Kurt's a great cousin. In the offseason, Malcolm Jenkins is, is a Pro Bowl caliber safety. Yes. He can play this game. Led to an Eagles field goal and a 10 point lead, but here comes Washington. Get your head up, little buckaroo. Cousins. Little buckaroo. <laughs> Hitting Roy Hallou out of the Hello. backfield. Hey, Hello. watch Jenkins go get it. Oh, watch this here, man. Let's go get it. Go, let's go, Jenkins. Oh, come on. Hey, Jenkins can run, man. Hallou hit that button and it ran. <laughs> Cousins. Button had done. Yeah, hello, that button said goodbye. Threw for 427 and three scores. Oh, three wow. plays later, it's Hallou just taking it himself, and Washington is down just three. Threw for 427. Good game. They fought back and forth in this game. It was an offensive explosion. Third and 11. Foles couldn't complete it to Riley Cooper, so Philadelphia had to punt. Now we'll pick it up. Fourth and ten for Washington at the Eagle 41. Jay Gruden, with two timeouts left, decides to go for it. Well like done. Well, could have kicked it away, maybe used the timeouts. Yeah, it was open. He yeah. had it. They already put 37 up on your defense. You think yeah. they're going to stop him again? And so the Eagles do indeed improve to 3-0. Chip Kelly feeling good after the three-point win. However, Philadelphia is the first team in NFL history to start a season 3-0, in which they trailed by double digits in all three games. 3-0 as they took on San Francisco. By the way, they got the fire alarm pulled in their hotel at 2 a.m. Manuel Acho said, hey, uh, good job, Niners fan. <laughs> people get up when they pull the fire alarm in your hotel at 2 in the morning? I, I sleep like a newborn. We'll pick it up in the first quarter, Colin Kaepernick. Drop by Trent Cole and Connor Barwin. That was big because, you know, uh, shorter punting distance. And so, you know what that means for uh, Andy Lee. Yes. Oh, man, great job right here coming in. First of all, attacking San Francisco uh, uh, with the defense and trying to pin them like that. And then attacking special team and getting a big play. Brad Smith recovers. Seven zip. Eagles lead. Second quarter. Anthony Davis, the right tackle. He is out for the Niners. Michael Crabtree apparently getting ready for his Sunday softball game or something. I don't know what yeah, he's doing over there. Right there. So Kaepernick, what's he going to do? He's going to roll left. What's he going to do? He's going to throw right to Frank Gore. That's great vision. That's an unbelievable throw. That's great vision. Serious, man. To That's see that. That's great vision. I don't even know what kind of arm you got to have to make that throw. It's a baseball throw. Yeah, he's a baseball player, man. He That's not a baseball in his body. hand, though. That thing, that's, that's hard, Longest man. catch of Gore's <laughs> career, by the way. That's no. a baseball throw, too. This was <laughs> yeah. a great play. Somebody, so, yeah. went, somebody went yard. Yeah. We don't, talk about, we don't talk about Jenkins a lot, but he's one of the best safeties in the game. Nobody's about Malcolm Jenkins. And the way he played this route was unbelievable. Fourth he, career touchdown for him. So why don't we uh, break it down, Prime? What do you had, do? He had hook curl. It seems like he had man. Seemed like he was beaten, but no, he's going to drop back into his zone oh, right boy, there. Gotcha. Wow. Now let's get wow. to the house, baby, because Mama's nah. calling. All right, that, so that, that, we got a studying right there, buddy. Clear indicator 
when a team like the run slants at that down the distance. Right, right. Darren Sproles didn't do there much on offense, but here on special oh. teams, 82 yards. Took him a million steps to get there, but baby he got step. there. They call him baby steps, but he get the job done. The Every Eagles team he are goes the first to. team since the Chiefs in 02 with three non-offensive touchdowns in the first half. They're up 21 to 10. With Lil Roscoe. Now, Vernon Davis missed last week's game out in Arizona because of ankle and knee issues. Two catches. Ah, he was done for the day with a bad back here. Yeah, that always hurt when you get paid enough. Mm -hmm. They got something in the locker room for that. Eagles trying to get it done. Up eight. Nick Foles to Zach Ertz. This might have been the biggest play of the game. Yeah, this was Antoine Bethea strips it. Parrish Cox recovers it. Oh, early one season for cough like that. San Francisco's offense not moving the ball, not doing much of anything. And then you give them a gift right here on the 20-yard line going in. It's incredible. And drive, third and ten. Kaepernick to Stevie Johnson with maybe the catch of the Great year. Right Watch here. the Lester Hayes stick him. It is surely an incredible catch by Stevie Johnson right there. An incredible play by Kaepernick. Did right keep now, it under the gloves, line. make it almost illegal. Look at this, though. The ball doesn't even move once it hits his fingertips. See, the man could catch. He has good hands. Man, he, he has great hands. Wow. He, he, he'll make plays like this all the time. It's just consistently making the simple play sometimes cause an issue. In the meantime, Nick Foles, three straight 300-yard games to open the season, just threw a pick, uh, hurt his knee a little bit. He ain't going to sit down, though. Well, That's how he got his Eagles job. Eagles lead the NFL with 40 points in the fourth quarter. Jim Harbaugh's <laughs> team has scored zero. I'm going to guess that's the fewest in the NFL. Yes, that is. That was. And so here in the fourth, with the Niners up to Kaepernick, looking for Crabtree. Uh, we got a little flag here, but it's offensive yeah, pass it's interference. It's a bad call. Right there. Remember, bad it was call. third and three, so Kelly elects to take the penalty. Look and here on third and 13, they're running it with a Kaepernick. They old Green Bay Packers student body lift. That was the quarterback. They should. They need to keep the ball in his hands, get him out of the pocket, let him do what he's gifted to do. Led to a Dawson field goal and a five-point lead. Well, here comes Nick Foles to Jeremy Mack. Great. Got, a great no, no, catch. this was the best That's catch. That's a great catch. That was awesome. It was ruled a catch on the field. Harbaugh challenges, loses, and loses his final timeout. Oh, that, which one you say now? I, I, I need to do a, a I'm third that top right playmaking catch of the day. I don't know. The other one's won the game, though. Like First that, and that goal now, Foles looking now. for Macklin, who that? That can't even get a paw on this one. Okay. <laughs> Next play, second and goal, Shady McCoy had just 17 yards on the ground. He was the NFL's leading rusher a year ago. This one goes for five, but he can't quite sniff the goal Shady, line. I'm going to tell you all right now, that play's supposed to score right there. Yeah, he's supposed to get in that end. I'm talking to you, Shady. You're supposed to score right there. Now on third First and goal, thing. Foles First looking thing. for Brent Selleck. That's if he was not frustrated, get it done. then you make that block right there, and that's a touchdown, too. Foles got to quit falling away from the play. Stand up in that pocket, man. It's Instead hurt, of man. kicking the field goal, play fake, Foles, Macklin, no. That was big. So the Niners get the ball back. They hold on by the defense. That's great job. Big. Third and five. Frank Gore, who had his first 100-yard effort of the year, is stopped shy. So they had to they punt. getting Frank the ball. A little over a minute and a half to go after a holding we penalty a big on penalty. Philly. They run this swing pass to Sproles, and he gets tackled by Aaron Lynch. And now on fourth down, Foles. It's fourth and 24. Where's Freddie Mitchell when you need him? I don't know. There's Cox get was it open. Y'all need to do it. So the Niners improved to two and two, thanks in part to that offense. All right, let's stay in the NFC East. The Giants now chasing the Eagles. The Eagles take it on the... Rams in Philadelphia this afternoon. Eagles trying to improve to 4-1. Johnny Hecker's pump blocked by James Casey, recovered by Chris Maragos. That's a touchdown, fellas. Wow. Yeah, the, Eagles, the Eagles finding ways to score touchdowns without their offense the last two weeks. Heath. Third special teams touchdown. Two weeks. Crazy. There's Foles to Shady McCoy. And <laughs> Look at that ball security, Dan. Did you teach him that? No, no. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Nor the fumble at the uh, at the very end there. Oh goodness! Yeah, he was uh, running for his life on that one. That he, you guys have been harping on that for a while. The ball security with Shady oh, McCoy not been. Uh, he's so much fantastic. faster than everyone else. He gets away with it, but in traffic. Yeah, Riley, Riley Cooper. Catch by Riley. Cooper. How about Cooper? that ball security for you, DJ? My goodness! Yeah, just give him a chance. He's so big and strong. He comes down with it. Eagles on top, 20 to seven at this point. Fast forward to the third quarter. Oh. Rams trailing. What, what what kind of points are these? Oh, that's uh, not ideal. Non-offensive points for the Eagles. I wish uh, 
Sort of saw that one coming the last two oh, weeks. Holy cow. Goodness gracious. There's 14 for this game so far. 27 to 7 at this point. Zach Stacy then taking the handoff. Mm. He fumbles. And how about that? He didn't score. Come on, Sed. What's wrong with you? Can you keep your <laughs> <take> the <laughs> thing in the end zone? Turns at 40 yards. Eagles have the ball at their own 20. I'm surprised there wasn't a DB trying to take it from him, you know? A couple of plays later, falls to Jeremy Macklin. Eagles up 34 to 7. Oh. Falls with a couple of touchdown passes and a pick on the day in the fourth quarter. Full scrambling here. Makes the decision to keep it himself and oh. Yeah. And he drops it, and Michael Brockers recovers it. So the Rams get the ball there on 38. Feet first slide, right, D? Yeah, feet first slide. You don't have to worry about that. Absolutely. Mm. Wow, great adjustment. Wow. That was uh, Kenny Britt hauling in the 30-yard touchdown. The Rams short in the lead. They're trailing 34-21. Britt to quick. Quick From again. Mm. Absolutely. There it is. Mm. How about Darren Sproles? Yeah. Nowhere to go. Third and six. Donald Jr. gets in there. Rams ball now with 2.06 left in the game. You see this and you're like, you got to be kidding me. They're going to come back and win this game. Brian Quick again for a 40 yard pickup on first and 10 there. He's having a nice year. He really is. Fourth and 13, Dan. All right, this is it. For all the marbles, incomplete. Eagles did a nice job on this play, too. They sold out, sent the pressure after him. Yep. Had an effect. 34-28, mm. the Eagles hang on and improve to 4-1. and one. Eli Manning, Giants have scored at least 30 in three straight wins. LaShawn McCoy <coughs> averaging less than three yards per carry, but on the second possession, LT's getting a little lame. Well, that's a hole. And once he sees that hole, he can get through it now for a nice game. 22 carries, a buck 49. That's an average of almost seven yards per carry. Now, Tom Coughlin would challenge the play because uh, the ball ended up on the ground. However, the call would stand, and it was Eagles' ball. But how about Foles to Zach Ertz? Whenever they got that running game going, everything is going, and it's a hard offense to stop. Three plays later, Foles to Ertz for the 15-yard score. The Eagles up 10-zip. Now, was Ertz able to stay in bounds? Look at that pretty catch. This should never happen. A, a premier corner getting beat by a tight end in this game. Beautiful pitch and catch, and probably best celebration of the weekend on the sidelines, too. Second quarter, same score, Foles. Off the play action and finding James Casey, who's the third string tight end. He's wide open. He really throws well on the move, folks, though. That's one of his best assets. As far as Eli, okay, he wasn't great. He also didn't get much help because he was being chased all night long. Yes, he was. Connor Barwin. Got to get rid of that. Jars it loose. Giants Not one of his best assets. Then Vinny Curry gets him. Yeah. Barwin. By Q for the sack. Manning was sacked five times in the first half. Tom Coughlin. The clock, somebody. Somebody. Just nip somebody. Now on to the third, and this is where we're talking about the injury to Victor Cruz. As the Giants are trying to get back into this on fourth and goal, it's off his mitts. And he actually hurt the knee before the ball even hit his hands. Torn patella tendon on the play. Right there. That's a good kid, too, man. You saw the emotion. Literally, uh, hands over his face. And he got there the hard way, man. Nothing given to him. He earned it the hard way. As far as the game, McCoy. Look at that blocking, man. Biggest gain of the night, 28 yards. Mm. Didn't get touched to 20 yards down the field. And then three plays later. He misses it. that, though, y'all. He hasn't had that in a long time. LT, there's your former teammate. Look at the burst when he see that hole, man. He's still quick. Ball, man. I love that kid, man. That's right, I see you. I see you. 27 zip. Yeah, well, let's go. By the way, <laughs> Dude, I love Sean McCoy looks like a small forward next to Darren Sproles. Now, here's the bad news. This team's up 27 zip. Go a minute down. to go let's in the go third down. quarter. We're hearing possible ACL, MCL injury. Gosh, could you imagine if they go on without him? What a weapon. I mean, special teams. He's a tough joker, man. Uh, how about the, the, Tiger, Tiger the Eagles and the Cardinals Tiger, Tiger Woods. looking for win number six. Thank you, we pick it up in the second quarter. Falls 
Oh, great fit. Now, come on out, Florida State. You see that thing in one hand, Mike, down low? Hey, we know. We teach. Mickey Andrews teaches us that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Oh, yeah. Get down, baby. What happened to ball security? <laughs> it is ball security. <coughs> We're used to that thing. You see that thing low with one hand? Yeah, that hit right there. Boom. Two times. Antonio Cromartie's first love interception to see of the season. How about that other cornerback on the team? Patrick Peterson, scary moment here. Peterson involved in a, a collision with Dayon Buchanan and Jeremy Macklin. The president of 21 Reeves, I texted him. He's okay, concussion. Exactly, he did not return to the game. We are tied at oh. seven and a half, third quarter. Larry Fitzgerald getting Ooh, loose, yeah. sir. Somebody give it up for the up for, for, for the vet on the league right in, in the game right now. Look at this, 80 yards. Oh. 70. What about 70 is good enough. All the people who said he couldn't do it no more, what they talking about, man? You, you know what we were talking about? 70 yards. You know what all of us was talking about? That he can't run down the field no more like talking. that. Je now, boy, let me tell y'all something, too, now. This dude right here, Jeremy Macklin, played ball today. I mean, flat out played ball today. He beat Gerard Powers, who was the guy who Mac, replaced go, Peterson Mac. in the game. Fourth quarter now. Chris Polk up the middle, stopped short of the end zone. So it's third and inches on the next play. The Eagles have really been struggling in the red zone. Yeah, get up there and quarterback yeah. sneak. You got a quarterback 6-5, man. <coughs> yep. You sub, not that. Put the ball in your hand and hold it over the goal in the end zone. Now this right here, man, right here. This is a four pump. Just a four pump. He dipped it. What a great job. Let me tell you I what. John Brown. What John Brown did when that ball went over his head for young receivers. You see how he kept his elbows That's together as that ball came out of the sky. It'll give his hands right down to his elbows. He did not drop it. Wonderful job. Man, I get tired of teaching young guys. They try to catch the ball. They have those elbows apart, and the ball falls right through those elbows. Keep them together just like John Brown. You can do just like John Brown. I got a little Mike Irvin to do it. He went 96 yards this weekend, too. Tell him, Irv. Nick Foles takes it for three yards in the first down on fourth Mike and Irvin. two. When you want to run with the quarterback. The Eagles call their last timeout. Three plays later, seven seconds left. Foles looking for Zach Ertz. Mm. Can't come down with it. Great play. Yeah, they played some plays, man. They made plays at the end of that game, Dion, on that defense at Arizona. Dude, I did. I took my shot. One second left. Jordan Matthews in the corner of the end zone, but he's out of bounds. Makes the catch, just could not stay in bounds. I love that young guy right there, too, man. Jordan Matthews, that guy right there. I got to call him. Good, good, good try, son. Good try. Good effort. Arizona hangs on a win. Nick Foles and the Eagles trying to avoid a third straight road loss, taking on Houston in that tough D, which was a little short-handed in the secondary after Kareem Jackson and Jonathan Joseph were both hurt in the first quarter. It's over then. You lose two corners. This is a game they would want to be hurt in, too. Uh, especially Oof. when you have to face Jeremy Macklin. Boy, has he jumped a level, Mike Irvin. And Jeremy Macklin is playing football, man. Missed last year. He wanted to step in and show you that he's just as good as the guy that departed it, and he's playing well. Foles uh, looking for more, but instead Instead, finding A.J. Boye. And Boye know what to do with, with the last this ball. Boye. Boye. Boye said, Boye, he trying that with Riley Cooper. He ain't as fast. I can get this. Foles oh, intercepted gotta, only twice all like year that. a season ago. He, picked you know, off you ten times so far this season. There. You out of there now, Jeremy Macklin, DJ, you out of there. But to add injury to insult for Nick Foles, he gets dropped by Whitney Merciless, and our oh, Ian Rappaport ooh. is saying broken collarbone could be done up to a month. That's at least. That's, that's pretty the much a year. Right? That's his left shoulder? Yeah, but he's so got the left shoulder. dust off the throw. Mark God, Sanchez Eagles oh, interstitial. Oh, here we go. I want to see what he looks like with a coach that's an offensive-minded coach, man. And that's what he has. Now, hey, let's see if Sanchez looks like This that. is his first snap. He's not handing it off or anything. He's throwing it deep for Macklin. Man, Macklin is off the charts. And Sanchez says, let me use him. He's hot like that. Chip Kelly that's says, a I of believe in my system. And then Sanchez to Jordan Matthews. It's his first touchdown toss since week 15 in 2012. That's my and young boy right there. That's my young guy right there, Jordan Matthews right there. Man, he is Martin. balling. Jordan, I will call you this week.
great play right there, son. Sanchez looking for more, but in and out of the midst of Josh Huff and picked off by Jamal Roll from Catawba College. Catawba. Catawba. Work on those hands. Roll. Those hands the right way, receiver. Get those hands the right way. Uh, Arian Foster, he's back to doing what he does best. That boy bad. And one, boy bad. one thing he does great, Marshall, is catch the ball out oh, yeah. of the backfield. Oh, yeah. Like him fog. I know him fog in too. Listen, he does. When you can catch the ball mid-flight as a running back, a lot of running backs can catch the swing route. But when you turn up and that ball's in the air and you can and catch you it. relocate it like that. Yeah. You catch it with your hands. On Natural ball like skills. Yeah. Right, man. Well, that's serious. That was the good news. This is the bad news. He pulls up lame and goes that. down with a groin injury. I hate you, man. man. I need him. Man, he's frustrated, right? I need him when I'm picking that Pro Bowl battle. You got to get set, get help him, baby. Yeah. Now, you got to pick the guys that's really going to play over there for you. So, another frustrating <laughs> injury out. for Arian Foster. Mm -hmm. Next Eagles Young possession. Sanchez with his team up 10, but it's Roll picking it off again. This is a kid that went to D2. Catawba Ain't nothing wrong with D2. All you D2 players out there, keep on striving, baby. They play D2. Yeah. Catawba in Salisbury, North Carolina, by the way. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, now, th this was a crazy play and kind of disheartening for the Eagles. Picked off by D'Amico Ryans. As you can see, he loses the ball. That's because he tore his Achilles wow. on the play. That's hard. The That's former second. Houston Texan Pro Bowler carted off in front of what used to be his hometown fans. And this is a ball that was recovered, by the way, by the Texans man. and DeAndre Hopkins. Brand for you, man. You agree with me on, on the Houston. And you took Houston Texans to win something, did you? Well, yeah, I did. You know, Next play, did. it's Fitzpatrick. Going. To Hopkins for the touchdown, six grabs a buck 15 in that score. Has anybody <laughs> seen Clowney? But it got to our yeah. Mercedes Benz Where's drive of the Google day, right? provided by Mark Sanchez. 15 plays, 80 yards, eight minute and one second longest under Chip Kelly. Who they working on that thing with Jeremy Mack, man, again, man, Jeremy? Hey, come on, Mack. We can say all these receivers, but I'm going to say Mark Sanchez. Great job. Great job. Your confidence. They stole it in, in New York. Absolutely, buddy. Way to bounce back. Well, that was the biggest play of the drive. That Fourth and one, and play. Chris Polk kind of backed his way into the first down. Houston challenged it, but call was upheld. Chip Kelly believes in his system. And it eventually led to this. Sanchez to Macklin. Six grabs, a buck 58, two scores. Man, way to go, Sanchez. But Mac, man, way to do your do, man. Do your do. I'm happy Look, for Mark Sanchez, man. Me too, That's man. Good. Me too. Eagles improved to six and two with the ten point win way. down in like Houston. Fighters. Who they play this week? Keep fighting, Matt. Let's stay in the Lone Star State. No Tony Romo. Philly walked tonight, and what went right for the Philadelphia Eagles? Mark Sanchez. This was his night. First start since Week 17 of 2012. He had some help tonight from his spark plug, Darren Sproles, and he would do a little bit of everything as he punches it in it for their first touchdown tonight. That looks easy right there. He is an X factor. He might be a lowercase X, but he is an <laughs> X factor. They did a nice job. Seal on the edge here as well as influence and Luke Keekley get him going left. Sproles beats him to the point. Brent Selleck sealing the edge. This one is still, I'm scratching my head. We're gonna watch this together, Dan, and like, they're not really punting this ball. Like, I mean, I did see the charts this morning. He leads the NFC in punt return. Down the middle of the field, though. Not on the I mean, sideline. They didn't pin him. Yeah. Gave it to him right in the middle of the field. I don't know if he was touched. I don't know if he was touched in this return. Is there a more perfect running back for that system than Darren Sproles? Fifth time he has returned to kick for a touchdown. And then, guys, Mark Sanchez, they didn't ask him to do a ton tonight with this game so one-sided, but, you know, he didn't make this any mistakes, nice and he looked sharp. This is a good drive by Mark. It was just one completion after another right here, a couple double pumps. I've uh, seen the field really well. The good throw there in the middle of the field. A uh, little play action right here. And uh, really just finding Selleck all night long for first time all year that Selleck's been over 100 yards this evening. Right, guys, getting out of the pocket, you know, he looked real crisp again as well. Just kind of showing you a little snippet of his entire game. And a lot of Jordan Matthews, the rookie on this drive. Looking for our receivers making plays in this league. you got to love it. Sanchez on that drive, five of six, almost 100 yards, capped off by the touchdown. Eagles were up 24 to seven. Not as successful a night for Cam Newton. And this one was tricky, Baldy, because it looked like looked like Kelvin Benjamin kind of geared it yeah, down yeah, a little bit over the middle, miscommunication. Yep. 
Newton is throwing a pick now. But this one, though. In six straight games. Yeah, I got no answer for this yeah, one, he, Nate. He threw that inside. The receiver sitting outside. Could have been a miscommunication. Either way, the quarterback and the receiver wasn't on the same page. Resulted in a pick six to the house. Do you think, Nate, this has something to do with uh, replacing your entire receiving core in the offseason and he didn't have an offseason, though? It, it might be. It might be. you got to have some type of veteran, some guys that know how to run routes. It can get you out of sticky situations. Baldy, what a night for Barwin, right? Baldwin, uh, Connor Barwin right now leads the NFC in sacks. Got uh, ten and a half after the three and a half he had tonight. He spent a good deal of the night spying Cam Newton right here, as he does. And when Newton breaks the pocket, uh, Barwin has got laser vision on him, chases him down and gets one of his three and a half sacks there but I mean a healthy Cam Newton gets away from Connor Barwin on a couple of these for sure 100 percent he's not getting away from anybody right now third quarter you you hoped as a Panther fan that things would get a little better it got worse if that was possible fifth turnover of the game right here Vinnie Curry the recovery for Philadelphia as you take another look and that look says it all from Newton well that's their uh, right tackle going back on his uh, right tackle uh, falling down backwards. I mean, uh, they are not going to get any better till they get better up front. And the Sanchez opportunistic 29 yard strike to Selick. That was a dime. Play was, was ruled great. a touchdown, but Selick was ruled down at the one, so they would have to punch Jay it in. Take the touchdown here. Oh, yeah. Very next play, they bang it in. This is a stat stuffer right now for yeah. skilled players. No we don't complain about getting touchdowns late in games, Baldy. No, 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 no. Because at the end of the year, they all, they all, <laughs> they all, they all mean up, the same baby. thing. They all add up. Mark Sanchez, pretty good numbers, guys, for his first start since uh, week 17 of 2012. This was his 63rd career start. First time he's ever thrown for 300-plus yards and zero interceptions in a game this year. What about the Eagles and the Packers? Aaron Rodgers, I mean, flawless at home. This season, 15 touchdowns, no picks, no losses. That could run game in your defense against him. Uh, Got to go in early to Devontae Adams, the rookie, just breaking the plane, but it's good. They need that guy to come up, step up and make plays, give them that other receiver. Get to, and when mama call you, quickest way is just come right home. And then Micah Hyde, we, this game of Hyde and seat. Donnie go Jones, I know right you thought you could get him. That, that punt almost bust both hamstrings. <laughs> hey, that was a great run, great I mean, great cut. Oh, I see. I see you shooting. Yeah, that's, that's a penalty. Like you can't celebrate get flag, but that's all right. You're up 17 zip at that point. Second quarter, Rodgers, Jordy Nelson. Look at the tiptoe, Michael. Yeah, Jordy Nelson is just having a phenomenal, phenomenal year. Drop passes right in there, and he continues to run by everybody that they put on him, man. Jordy Nelson, what a game you're having. What a season. That's taking throwing a guy open to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. You yeah. saw the dominance of the first half in the Big last four. They okay, started off the insane. game like that. Going uh, deep. Mark Sanchez played pretty well Monday night against Carolina. That was right, Carolina. He was in over his head. Mike he Neal drills him. <laughs> he, was, he was in over his head today. Yeah, you can't go touchdown for touchdown. Uh -oh. And then sacked by Clay Matthews. Uh -oh. like a USC alumni meeting. Uh -oh. no, buddy. I don't care whether he's played inside or outside, he can get to the quarterback. And then Sanchez looking for Jordan Matthews, but that ain't going to happen. You got to make that play, big fella. Eagles were down 30 to six at the half. I know Chip Kelly's a wizard. He ain't that good. Hey, what you tell him? Down 36. Third quarter, Sanchez picked off by Julius Peppers, who became the first player with at least 100 sacks and four pick sixes. And watch the big fella with the athleticism, just, just not even using his hands. He almost dislocated his hip. <laughs> That's that leg. That looks very painful. It hurt. On to the fourth, Rodgers. We already saw one tackle eligible. This is like another one with Eddie Lacy out there. I mean, who's going to tackle him? Nobody want to hit this dude. It's cold out there, too. Mm. Mm. Uh -uh. Oh. oh, you can tell. That, that's just great out grit. That's a big dude. Man. During his last 11 home games, Rodgers, 29 touchdowns, no picks. And then it just got even uglier. Uh, I'll pick it up. Casey Hayward. <laughs> That's back-to-back -back 50 burgers for the first time in Packers history. Uh, Packers aren't an expansion team, by the way. They've been around a while. I would love to see them in the Cardinals. Tennessee Titans taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Mark Sanchez has thrown four interceptions in just three starts this season. It would get worse. And the scoring, well, it started early and often. Chip Kelly from Oregon. Josh Huff from 
the University of Oregon using a couple of stiff arms. Oh my goodness, hitting the weight room. Josh Huff, 107 yards to the house. Touchdown, second kickoff return of the season for the Eagles. All right, Eagles next possession. Darren Sproles punching it in from four yards away. A more traditional touchdown there for the Eagles and the Eagles lead 14 to nothing. Three Eagles possessions later, Mark Sanchez. And guess what, intercepted. Pass intended for Riley Cooper. The Titans take over at the Eagles 30 yard line. Sanchez's fifth interception in just four games. Second quarter now, Zach Mettenberger. Fires, and then how about the tip drill? Justin Hunter takes the tip pass, goes 40 yards for the touchdown. And it's 17 to seven, the Eagles lead. Ensuing Eagles possession. Deshaun McCoy bouncing to the outside, firing, finding that hole. Oh, look at the moves from Shady. Then he puts on the Jets. And then easily goes out of bounds after picking up 53 yards. That would lead to a Cody Park field goal, 20 to seven Eagles. Then ensuing Titans possession. That would be Delaney Walker for a huge 68 yard pickup. Walker's very first game back since a concussion had him sidelined in week nine. Five plays later, Sean Green. Yes, that's Sean Green. He's still in the league. Two yards out, touchdown there for the Titans as the Eagles lead gets cut to six, 20 to 14. Then McCoy takes in a two yard touchdown run. Uh, McCoy finished with 130 yards with that touchdown as well as the Eagles led 27 to 14. Third quarter, Mettenberger. Pass is tipped and then <laughs> caught by the center, Brian Schwenke, who then fumbles the ball. The Eagles, Nate Allen would recover it. Schwenke, I don't think he, he's not too used to covering that ball actually though. So he loses as, as it goes down and Titans uh, would then lose it at the 33 yard line. Four plays later, Sanchez finds the mighty James Casey for a 14 yard score and the Eagles lead 34 to 17. Next Eagles possession, Sanchez steps up into the pocket. I mean, wildly overthrows his receiver there. It's intercepted by Damian Stafford. So six interceptions in just four games for Mark Sanchez, but it would be all good because the Eagles would go on to win 43 to 24 and improve to 83. All right, here we go. Tony Romo and the Cowboys looking for their third straight win. Ooh. Yeah, that was the last time Tony was smiling all day long, to be honest with you. All right, last time Mark Sanchez played on Thanksgiving, it was the butt fumble, uh, by the way. That and, wasn't uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Pow! Oh. oh! Hey, I think you got a stinger on that one too, Willie. And it never gets old, though. I mean, it really doesn't. <laughs> I, I hate to say that, Mark, but we really enjoy seeing that. First quarter, no score. Here we go, Mark Sanchez. He's going forward on that play, uh -huh. inside the end zone. <laughs> looks, like a full, looks like a fullback there, head down and everything. He said butt fumble, what butt fumble? <laughs> Eagles up 7 nothing. Next possession. Sanchez. Nice play. Yeah. This is right in his wheelhouse. The short to intermediate throws, crossing route, Jordan Matthews. This is perfect. Move in the pocket yeah. with Sanchez. The All movement. Right. Same drive over the middle to Riley Cooper. Another first down there on the seven yard gain in the next play. Mm. Nothing hits too Matthews. Right. Nothing too exotic. Well, you hit it the nail on the head a minute ago, Willie. When he gets out of the pocket, there's a, a comfortability to Mark. You know, he throws the ball well. Limit those mistakes. The way they ran the ball today was something special. It's the Eagles up 14 0. Here's the next Cowboys possession. Who do you think Tony's looking for? Yes. 38 yards on the game. This led to a one That's my yard. Son. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, the other son, DeMarco Murray, scored the touchdown. One yard, punched it in the end zone there. Cowboys 14-7. Uh -oh. I couldn't get Michael Irvin for this. This is positive. My He's son. trying to get guys fired up on the sideline. A lot mm -hmm. of emotion. This is a big game, a divisional rival, and they're at home. Oh wait, he's trying to get the defense going. He's not even trying to pile up his own. <laughs> Got to stop those unit. guys. They're right. on fire. And this is why he was. This is what he was talking about. Hey. All right, there's Jeremy Macklin. A 59 yards. He takes it to the 20. That led to a Cody Parkey field goal. So the Eagles up 17. Seven. Macklin's in the contract here. Have you heard that, Willie? Yeah. That's why he's not uh, substituting. Right. <laughs> the Cowboys down 27. Romo. Uh oh, Beasley. We talked about this. Great play by Boykin. He just went in and stripped the ball. Well, listen, this is like right before the half. You know Tony can lead you down in a two-minute drive. This is the first reception of the drive. And what are we doing, Dallas Cowboys? Ball. Yep. ball security. 
All right, take, take another look. Like, let's look even closer. Allen stays in bounds there yeah, on yeah. the recovery. Some question with that. The play would stand after review. The Eagles take over, would hit a Cody Parkey field goal, go up 23-7 at the half. So let's go to the third quarter now. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff, uh -oh. but he fumbles. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Willie and I were talking a minute ago, Ever. He, he never fumbles when we think he should. His ball security is atrocious, but he, he's honestly ball secure. That ball was kind of secured pretty well, and it, it just pops out. Yeah. Yeah, it fell over his own. Yeah, man. Lane Johnson is who he tripped over. So Romo's excited. Uh, McCoy not happy about that one. But on the next Cowboys possession. Yeah, it was third and two, Amber. And Tony, listen, we know your back is bothering you, buddy, but you can't pull a Peyton Manning. You live to play. I, I'm frustrated. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get that. So they're at the fight and had to settle for a field goal. They're down 23-10. Here's yeah. the next Eagles possession. Bro, bro, I'm going to make up for that fumble, and he made up for it <laughs> the entire game. I'm telling you, when he gets loose, that stride just gets faster and faster. 38 yards for the touchdown. He was like, get off me, Lane Johnson. I got to dance. I'm not done with my celebration. <laughs> Romo's doing the math. 30, 10, that's a 20-point difference. Let me see what I can do on third and 15. Yeah, that wasn't a good throw right there either. I mean, he threw the ball behind Terrence Williams, and it seemed like Terrence Williams didn't even challenge it. You're supposed to turn into the defender, right? right? Yeah, well, and Malcolm Jenkins comes and cleans it up there. They're, this defense, you know, they have some weak spots, but this Philly defense, they know how to play with some fire. Dez getting in the face there of Tony Romo. Looks like he's saying that was on you. So the Eagles win this one 33-10. First place in the NFC East right now. Mark Sanchez, 217 yards and a touchdown. LaShawn McCoy, 159 yards. So a big game for the running back. City of brotherly love and Pete Carroll visiting. Fight on! A pair of his former USC quarterbacks, Mark Sanchez and Matt Barkley. For all of you who do not know, this is the fourth quarter of the regular season. All champions stand up and be accounted for. Well, the champion punter John Ryan botched it. Zach Ertz recovered yeah, and then on the ensuing drive, after converting a fourth down, that's Jeremy Macklin, one of only three catches, but it results in his 10th yeah, TD he, he grab. He's in front of Sherman all day. It is the month of the contenders and the pretenders. And this guy is a contender for best running quarterback we've seen in a couple decades, Russell Wilson from 26 I, I, out. He made it look like a 10 yard run, man. I think he's the best running quarterback in the league right now. Fifth rushing Two. touchdown even for him. Even over Cam. Hey, Eagles potent even offense, but they lead the league mm -hmm. in turnovers. Even and over Colin Kaepernick. Shady McCoy doing it, <laughs> trying for something extra, and he gets it ripped away by K.J. Wright. Earl Thomas recovers. It looked pretty benign until you see the replay. K.J. Wright doing his thing. Shady usually holds that ball away from his body, but normally he's outside of the tackles. Yep, and they were swarming now. That defense was swarming. So now, little play fake by Wilson. Look at him find Marshawn Lynch. Beast mode. Nice. And I love that, man. Put a little bit of Philly back on Philly. All the misdirection that Philly runs on their offense. Hey, that's Coach saying, let's put a little bit back on you. He's got 13 total touchdowns this year. Mark Sanchez threw for less than 100 yards on the day. But that was good enough. Zach Ertz, he gets into the end zone, and the Eagles are down to 17-14. That's incredible, less than 100 yards. Seattle's ensuing drive. Wilson to Doug Baldwin. He might not be a true number one, but he's solid, Mike. Man, Doug Baldwin is playing it. Now you heard Russell Wilson talks about how he knows him so well. Those two have a great relationship. And then on to the fourth. Wilson out to Lynch. Oh, the piece right here. You don't yeah, see but uh-oh, uh-oh. You don't see B that often. Ball right there, on man. ground. You know what's funny? About 20, 20 people hit him, and he still ain't down. That's a bad thing, <laughs> he's, still, dude. he's still up. He fumbled I mean, from man, standing up. That's a bad dude, man. He just looks like he won't hurt But don't worry. Sanchez would give it back. The rolled Simon, two turnovers for the Eagles, who are held to a total of 139 yards. Their 10-game regular season home winning streak is bye-bye, Richard. Hey, here we go. I like good tomorrow. Cowboys and Eagles. Let's remember on Thanksgiving Day, 33-10 Philly. Held Tony Romo in Dallas under 300 total yards. For play, Cowboys. Opening kickoff. Here we go. Watch what happens. Josh Huff, the rookie's like, uh, uh. Uh, that's a that's a live ball. The Cowboys recover. That was a crucial play right there. Such a great start for Philly in Dallas, and a great start for Dallas in Philly. Watch, watch, watch Brad Smith, the veteran, saying, "Go get it, kid! Come on!" Yeah. No. 
And Brad's return kicked before. He's communicating, and obviously, Huff just did not get up there to get the ball. Yeah. Marco Murray held to a season low in rushing yards. First time out against Philly. Lunges it from one yard out. Cowboys make it seven zip, and Huff says, that's on me. That's on me. Yeah, we knew that, son. We knew that. <laughs> Next, Ellis we'll Drive. Oh, oh Mike, who's that? That is my son. That is my son. I talked about it on game day morning. If the Cowboys are going to move forward, the Eagles must be etched out. Part of a 16-play, 88-yard drive that took more than eight minutes off the clock. And then Romo, sacked by Fletcher Cox, who has had a tremendous year. However, it's a grown man. Illegal contact Boy, on Philly. If they ain't offering him a new deal and some new money. Let him get to the market. We got him coming. Terry Williams a little man. too much on Dez, and so. Instead of punting Dallas or doing something with the ball, Dallas gets fresh set of downs, and Dez does that. Right back to it. We talked about it. I mean, I love the way this time he maintained his upfield presence. He stacked DBs and didn't get pushed all the way out of bounds. All right, so it's 21 zip. Finally, the Eagles get it going. Watch this. Third and seven, Mark Sanchez to Brent Selling. This is a gain of 23, and we know they like to get up to the line of scrimmage quickly. But then Orlando Scandrick's to like, ow, my something hurts. Yeah, his head and, got caught up on a blitz. Uh, and Chip Kelly's like, are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. Uh, really? His head did get caught up on a blitz. I'm just right? saying, that's what Chip I, Kelly I, 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 said. I, 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 and then LeJean McCoy. <laughs> Shady <laughs> doing his like thing. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> he had a season high 159 yards out the first time against Dallas, just 64 this time around. But then it's plunging in Chris Polk. The fantasy vulture with the touchdown, and the Eagles are down 14. Now, early on, Dallas defense came to play. I was shocked to see him play like that. Did on to the third. Third and 11, Sanchez to Jeremy Macklin. What a, what, a, what a ball player this guy is, man. Jeremy Macklin, he gambled right here, saying, I will not take a contract. Let's play the season out. And I think he's earned a now, lot of money. Ball's loose on the turf. Jason Garrett decides to challenge the play. However, upheld on the field. So they would be down at the one yard line. Look at Sanchez, the eyes moving around, and then he finds his primary target out there, Mr. Mack. And, and Sanchez did a good job at, at getting them back into the game after all the stuff that happened in yes, the first half. Fantasy vulture, Chris Polk, his second TD of the night. Eagles down 21-17. Cowboys next possession. Tony Romo, really solid this game. But look at this. He's got like six weeks to throw the ball. So at some point, just get away. It's third and 19. You gotta get rid of that football, Tony Romo, right there. He did man. get rid of it. That's why the, Eagles the Philadelphia him. Eagles take DeMarco Murray away and try to put it all on Tony Romo because these plays are the plays that sometimes he give you a chance at. Do your thing, Vinny Curry. And then it's Darren Sproles taking it in. And guess who has scored 24 unanswered? The Man. Eagles. And look at the owner's box. Who's celebrating? Jeffrey Lurie and Bradley Cooper are up there. And who's in the Cowboys box? Chris Christie. From this point forward, it was all about Cowboy resolve, and they showed us something tonight. Well, here is DeMarco Murray. Cut and left. That's a gain of 21, his longest of the evening. Averages 2.6 yards per carry, but... He was still a presence in this game. Then Romo to Dez. Man, I'm telling you, a couple in cuts at crucial times to get the Cowboys going again. Dez Bryant showed up big. And here comes Murray, his second score of the game. Cowboys reclaim the lead in Jerry's box. A little more cheery this time. And Chris Christie's like, I'm the governor of Jersey. I get it. Suing Eagles possession. Sanchez deflected off of Ertz, picked up by J.J. Wilcox. Yeah, right there. That's a crucial turnover right there, and man. And Dallas wanted to do the same thing. Take it out of LaShawn McCoy's hand and put it all on Mark Sanchez because these are the kind of plays he's going to give you a chance at. Dallas is ensuing drive third and seven. Romo, who threw for 265. And who's he going to find, Michael? My son! My son! Dime. Oh, great room on the sideline. Perfect dime. play. Hey. Way to throw and exit, buddy. Bradley Fletcher. Around. Bradley Fletcher. First career hat trick for Dez. The then Sanchez unit. to sell a huge play. Gets the first down, but Dallas says, you know what? That was a fumble. Wasn't ruled that way on the field, but Jason Garrett quickly challenges the play. They look at it. It was indeed moving, and Selleck landed on top of a defender. 
So they reversed the call. It had to be some good work from upstairs in the booth because if you get that one wrong and say the Eagles score, you're up by one and then what? One timeout left in the game. Sanchez under pressure job, all right night here. from the front four of the Cowboys, and they got it done. Four sacks on the evening. And guess who is the lone unbeaten road team in the NFL? The Dallas Cowboys improved to 7-0 away from home, including winning three straight in Philadelphia for the first time since the early to mid-80s. Well, the day started with what appeared to be a mismatch. Yeah. The Redskins had been reeling. Philadelphia came in desperate to keep the heat on the Cowboys in the NFC East. Second half kickoff, the Redskins trailing by four. And, oh, oh cough yeah. it up. Got to take Roberts. care of the football. Ball security heat. Ball security. Malcolm Jenkins got his head in there and knocked the football free. Philadelphia mm. recovers, and they were in business already up by four. But four plays later, it's fourth down. Bring out the kicker, Cody Parkey. No, that's his only job. He had only missed two kicks all year. This exactly. miss was from 34 yards. Just kind of put a bookmark in that one we mentally that there. We'll shot. come back to it. Ensuing Redskins yards. drive. They take a shot with uh, Andre Roberts, but incomplete. Roughing yeah. the passer, however, on Brandon Graham. What do we think of this one, guys? A, a lot of these ticky-tacky calls. I'm the offensive guy, so I'm all for easy first downs. I mean, how's but that ticky-tacky when he hit him in the face? I, I mean, I, I'm just saying. I mean, did he hurt him? No. I mean, he's a quarterback. <laughs> did he too. hurt him? I'm Drive like, continued. Daryl Young punched it in to put the Redskins up 17 to 14. Later in the third, that. Eagles and Sean McCoy stuff. Bring out the kicker again. Mm. I said Cody Parkey had only missed two all year. Right. He missed two as much. Two in this game. Did he go to Syracuse? Scott. No, he did not. <laughs> he know where he went. Yeah, he went to Auburn. Went Come to on, Auburn. Cody, get it together. Two plays later, Griffin then uh -oh. taking a deep shot. This was open all game to Sean RG. Jackson. Uh -huh. RG3. Bradley D Jack connection. Uh -huh. 55 yards there. They would punch it in on another short touchdown run. The Redskins lead was extended to 24 14. Now uh -oh. they take another deep shot again, but safety help comes over this time. Nate Allen. Of nice course. play by Nate Allen coming across. There. And he should be favoring Deshaun Jackson since they hit him early on the big play. Exactly. Smart play by Nate Allen. Good play. Just a three point game here. So eight plays later, Eagles down around the goal line. Mark Sanchez trying to play the hero. Zach Ertz had a huge game. Mm. Today, but Try couldn't to, come up with that one. That's a tight throw. You're trying to squeeze yeah. it in between three Washington Redskins. That's a tough throw. A lot of Eagles on would that ball tied too. up. Parkey did make a field goal, a 22 yarder. We were tied at 24. No. Eagles get it back again and turn it back Say over it late so. in the fourth quarter. Bashad Breeland on the pick. Break it down for us, fellas. Ooh, well, doggone. Hey, you don't want Mark Sanchez over 30 throws. He ended up at 50. You knew something bad was about to happen. It's low. It's behind. You give Breland an opportunity. Outstanding play by the DB. But, Mark, buddy, sorry. You played great until that point. That's all your fault. RG3 back in the starting lineup. Ooh, Chance to be the great hero. Day. Pierre Garçon with a short catch and a long run afterwards. Talking about a simple catch, a wiggle on the inside, hit the sideline, get a field. I, I bet you like that play on Vinny Curry, too. That little cheap uh, take yards, don't you? Passer don't you called on course. that, so 15 more Biased yards. They're in easy Kai Forbat field goal range, 26 yards, middle of the field. Yeah, you betcha. Right down the low. Washington logo. upsets Philadelphia 27 to 24. Robert Griffin the third with 220 yards passing on the day. A big hug for the game-winning kicker. And the score looks like that, Ooh. but the, the subtext here is Philadelphia. They were 9-3 and three at one point in the season. They are now 9-6, and six, and now Dallas controls everything in the NFC East. The Eagles need the Dallas Cowboys to lose out, and then Philadelphia has to win in Week 17. NFC East battle, Eagles, Giants, and the players, Tom Coughlin, including wearing NYPD hats and shirts, honoring the two officers shot and killed earlier this last week. All right, back to football. First quarter, Giants ball, no score. Eli Manning looking deep for Ruben Randall, double covered, but it doesn't matter. He goes up and gets it, a pickup of 43 yards. That would lead to an Andre Williams one-yard touchdown, and the Giants led seven to nothing. It's a wing Eagles drive. Mark Sanchez rolls and then finds Jordan Matthews. And Matthews has made this a habit of breaking away from tacklers and scoring from 44 yards out. The game's tied at seven. Next, Eagles drive on third and goal. Sanchez fakes to Chris Polk and then finds Brent Selleck for the touchdown. 
The Eagles take the lead 14 to 7. That was Selleck's first touchdown reception of the year. Second quarter we go. Eagles ball trailing 14 to 10. Leading 14 to 10 rather. Sanchez on the play action is intercepted by Mike Harris. Sanchez's ninth interception this season. All of them in just eight games. So nine plays later. The Giants with it. Third and goal on the Eagles two. Manning throwing a little fade to Odell Beckham, but it's knocked away by Brandon Boykin. The Giants have settled for a field goal and they trail 14 to 13. And a great effort by Brandon Boykin there, covering Odell Beckham Jr. knocking the ball away. All right, so next Giants drive. This on first down, Manning throwing deep for Beckham. And again, knocked away. Beckham also took a huge shot on the play as well. And he's pretty upset. He took his helmet off. He wanted a flag. There was no flag. And quite frankly, there was no flag on either side. Beckham took an absolutely monstrous shot around the head. You see it there. And again, no flag on the play. The Giants still trailing 17 to 16 at half. We go to the second half, third quarter. Giants ball, they're punting. That's Steven Weatherford. It's blocked by James Casey. Trey Burton would pick it up, and he's not gonna go, is he? Yes, he would. Diving in there for the touchdown, Eagles lead 24 to 16. It's their 11th return touchdown of the year. Tied for third most all time. Later in the third, Giants with it, trailing 17 to 16. Manning to Odell Beckham Jr. This kid is unbelievable. I mean, look at how high he got up there to catch that ball. I mean, just unbelievable. He also had uh, 90 receiving yards, well, a little more than 90 receiving yards, as you'll find out. His ninth consecutive game with 90 plus receiving yards. All right, fourth quarter. Shady McCoy takes a handoff, picks up an easy 21 yards. Next play, fakes the handoff and then checks it down to McCoy. <laughs> and then McCoy, that sound you hear? That's the sound of Mike Harris's ankles being broken. Chris Polk would then punch it in from a one yard out. Five plays later and the Eagles led 31 to 19. Ensuing Giants drive. Oh my goodness. Odell Beckham Jr. I mean, hello. Beckham Jr. 63 yards out in the touchdown. The Giants trail 31 to 26. Beckham finished the day with 185 yards in that touchdown. Later in the fourth, Eli picked off on second down. Picked off by Nate Allen. He'd return it 40 yards down to the Giants 18. Manning, 28 of 53 for 292 yards, a touchdown and an interception. As the Eagles would go on to win. 34 to 26 and end the season on a positive note.